Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. You are listening to The Brilliance Business Show, conversations with leading experts in business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. Today, we have a wonderful guest, Tahira Amir Sultan Khan. Tahira is an author, international keynote speaker, futurist and visionary. And our topic today is the Golden Door Awards Event Launch 2021, Truth and Integrity of the Written Word. Tahira, welcome to the Brilliance Business Show. Thank you so much for having me, Mark. Looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with you today, Tahira. Before I get started, I just need to make a legal disclaimer that Tahira is not offering legal advice or legal assistance. So let's get started with the show. Tahira, can you share a little bit about yourself and what you do in business and tell us a little bit about the Golden Door Awards? Okay, so I uh, currently I'm an author and I'm also a coach, you would say a personal development coach um, and spiritual transformation. I help people achieve that. So I run these programs. And then I had this movement, which is the Golden Door Awards, which focuses on truth and integrity of the written word. Uh, It is a movement. It's an initiative. And uh, yeah, so I focus on these three things, plus speaking, of course. The speaking is inspirational. Speaking is based on my own Transformation. Uh, I was in a totally different background before. Uh, I was definitely not in the writing field or speaking. <laughs> I was in purely technology for over 20 years. Um, I trained in uh, mathematics, computer science, uh, my training degree, and then I was a research engineer, consultant, and co-founded tech startup, advised electronic governments. <laughs> that was quite a long time. Uh, yeah, that was that was a major part of my life. And uh, at that time, I was focusing on the, the technology, that means the infrastructure on mobile uh, e-governance. But now I have shifted. The shift was only the past, I would say, six years. And now I focus on the human, the person, uh, the human technology, I would say. It was a huge shift. And that's my business. Really Um, exciting to hear. uh, And speaking is a great way to connect with people so that they can hear your message and story. I'm glad to see that you're also an author, keynote speaker, which I also do a lot of speaking as well. Just tell us a little bit about the Golden Door Awards and who is it for? What kind of people would this event be great for people to attend? Okay. The Golden Door was um, designed to be like a platform, a place, a safe place for those who are seeking truth, those who are willing to express um, what's important, what's deeper within themselves through writing. And Golden Door encourages and recognizes those who do that. So it's an awards. So we sort of seek out and recognize those truth writers. And we raise them up. We help them 
not only help them get published, we get them recognition, we get them uh, to get their word out, the message out. It is not easy in this in this space because writing a book um, is not itself not an easy task, but to actually write your deeper truth and um, to sometimes take a lonely that lonely path uh, is not easy. So we are a community. So the Golden Door Awards would be very attractive for those people who are looking for that community, who are looking for like-minded people who are the truth seekers, the truth writers, and are also looking to be inspired because um, they are all pushing themselves to do more uh, and to look beyond the world. They're doing things which, let's say, uncharted territory. It's a very inspirational group. So people of any area, any field would, uh, would benefit by attending, but you need to be a truth seeker. You need to be a change champion. Then you will really benefit from this. Uh, you will open up your mind um, and opportunities to collaborate with other truth seekers, truth writers, truth creators, innovators, doing new things, new setups. So, yes, this is what uh, depends on whether you're a chain champion or truth writer, you would benefit. And Tahira, could you just tell us a little bit about the ha-ha moment that led to the launch of the Golden Door Awards? Yeah, so as I was sharing about how I switched from the tech from technology to the human technology. So I was guided spiritually as I was writing my book. My first book was called Through the Golden Door. Uh, the Doorway to Our Advancement. When I was writing it, I wasn't really too sure where I was leading to um, the three-year writing process until I finally understood what that golden door meant. Uh, it was by the end of the, the few years when I understood that it was really about how this world is in such a, is, how could I say this, the upside down. It had to be made right side up. Uh, truth need to be need, had to come to the surface. Uh, there was too much deception. There was uh, and a lot had to be uncovered. And also, I realized while I was writing my book, it was about the individual. It wasn't about the organization. So that was part of the aha moment because I was shown so many visions and dreams, and I had encounters also spiritual encounters, that it was about the individual. We had to go back to the small. We could go back to the individual. And the individual had to be transformed. And the Golden Door Awards was something totally unexpected. Not that I was even thinking of going into this awards, not even... Uh, it was never in the plan, but I was just led to it. Uh, as you focus on the individual and then the golden door is truth. Uh, it was led to me as truth and integrity. And to focus on raising up the individuals of who were driven by truth and integrity. So it is completely spirit-led. Um, like I said, I came from a totally different field and I didn't know what was at the end of the road. <laughs> I was just walking that journey. I had never gone into publishing. I had never done public speaking. Uh, I was never focusing on. I was never focusing on personal development at all. So it was completely spirit led, and I realized that this is this is was the right field for me. It was really in line with my purpose. So that aha moment uh, was almost seamless. It was just going, walking through the journey uh, with, through, with complete surrender, I would say. In the flow and things happen to Hera. And 
you're yes. really coming from a place of service as well, lifting others up, which is just a great thing to do in this world. What really motivates you to jump out of bed every single day? A uh, couple of things. One is that I see now that everything that I deliver, it is positively impacting at least a few people. I can see the responses and that makes me feel good. I can see the excitement also in other people's words, expressions, and I see the community form, forming. It is already formed and it's growing and it's growing, it's growing. We have already about 50 speakers for this golden door, truth and integrity. And usually people get a bit afraid when they need to go into something like, you know, I've got to speak my truth. I've got to be a person of integrity. But these are people, I realize that there are a lot of fearless people out there. And they're inspired to do the work. They're inspired to, to step forward. I don't need to do much. And that motivates me. Yes, seeing the response. Great and reasons yes. to get out of bed every single day. That's right. Yes. Tahira, what sets the Golden Door Awards apart? And what unique need are you feeling for your attendees? It is, right now, I would say it's a pioneer in awarding based on truth and integrity. In a way, it's kind of hard to measure, uh, but we took the step forward. We're focusing on the, in, uh, we're really looking at the intention of the person. We look at what they write about. We, we look at what they speak about. But first, of course, we will focus on the writing first. And uh, so we were recognized as the world's first in February 2020 when we launched uh, in uh, Asia One and New York Chronicle, Mark Insider. And what sets us apart is that we're willing to recognize those who are, they could be unknowns. We're not looking for the, the worldly celebrities. We, we look for substance. We're looking at even the underdogs, those who are totally unknown or maybe a bit unusual, or they could be doing something which um, others may not understand. We're looking for the diamonds in the rough. I love and of course, that. Yeah, we're looking for those, and they may have something really special, but the, the mainstream does not recognize it because the mainstream, I say mainstream publishing, mainstream media, is they're looking for something that will attract a lot of interest just because it's maybe, you know, that's the way it is. But we're looking for substance. We are focused on the values of truth and integrity. That this person may be a total unknown, does he or she carry that, write it, then we want to raise up that person, regardless of how well-known that person is. It doesn't really matter. So, yes, we're, we're doing that completely based on that. And we don't want to, to move away from that. That's uh, really special to, to hear. Uh, and giving people that opportunity, shining a light on them, lifting them up. Like you mentioned, they may be the underdogs and then you lift them up. That's a really special thing to do. Tahira, could you just share a few details? When is the event? How can people get tickets? Who should come along and attend this incredible event? Yes, Please visit the Golden Door Awards.com or .org. Both websites work. And you can find details on that website. And it is on the 4th of September for three days. Um, actually, it's on the 
it's for two and a half days because 4th of September it starts at 6:30 p.m. Singapore time which is in in the UK you're seven hours behind so you just calculate that and uh, it ends on Monday it's so it's on a Saturday it's one uh, half a day and then for two days we've got panels we've got a series of panels which looks at important issues which we, which these truth writers have written about and now they are going to bring life to their what they've written this means bring life means that they're going to find ways to resolve it so this is where the truth creation comes in that's golden door awards.com dot com yes and also dot org and uh, yes so they can get the tickets there and uh, we tickets are still open and they can attend uh i we're happy to give uh, you know the first uh, first 20 respondents to the re- the listeners of uh, your channel uh complimentary tickets those who get in touch with you the first 20 we can give them those complimentary tickets for the the full 3 days i would encourage everyone to go to goldendoorawards.com and grab a ticket it doesn't matter where you are in the world yes. this is an international event which is so so worth getting involved yes. with yes. Tahira, do you have a success story of someone that has attended your events? I'd love to hear a success story. Uh yes, of course. Um you mean attending the event. Attending the event, the participants of the event, uh, I would say we got quite a lot of um, interesting responses. Like for example, some said it was very magical it, they've come out of it uh, totally transformed mentally at least listening to the stories and the what the truth writers were doing how they were living their life and uh, some of them got involved actually with golden door even just by attend by as an audience they started getting involved and uh, now they are ambassadors <laughs> they're golden door ambassadors and we there are initiatives which are starting projects we're starting and it's a very supportive network so it has helped them get publicity the some of them have been featured in uh, in their news uh, uh media in their local country uh, around the world we've covered uh, we've got participants from over 25 countries so we received from africa from india they were featured because they started doing amazing things because they were so inspired they took the step up and uh, before they did not really they, they were fearful and then they found that there were fearless people out there there were people who were doing great things and they found that community they felt safe so that's really important many times when you are a truth writer you're walking you're writing and you're living <laughs> you're going through the journey alone so now you find that you're not alone there are others who are also there with who can be there with you and that's really key i agree and- i agree totally i just love what you're about to hear i'm glad we connected with each other again i would just encourage everyone to get booked on to the golden door awards especially if you're into writing you're an author an entrepreneur you're in business this event is calling out for you go to goldendoorawards.com that's goldendoorawards dot com to hear her i have really enjoyed having a conversation with you today for closing the show 
in a few words, why should people give you their few hours on Saturday, Sunday and Monday to come to this event? Besides what I've shared with you, you will not find a more international event um, and more inspiring group of people. We've got such a mix, it's unbelievable, from uh, somebody who's heading UN Women, UNESCO. We've got uh, activists who are doing things which are unbelievable in Syria. We've got best-selling authors. We've got poet laureates. We have um, futurists, people who are setting up the new economy where you're rewarded for being good. You're actually, it's part of your new wealth. So they're writing about that. They're actually doing it in real life. They're not just writing it, but they're creating it. So these are people who really walk the talk. And when we get them involved to speak and we really assess them, uh, you're going to meet such authentic people of such diversity that you'll be surprised. Maybe it's just like, wow, I didn't know such people existed. I didn't know that I would meet such a, a diverse group of people with so many countries and different levels. We even have a former mem uh, member of parliament. We have a former minister of state. Uh, we have people at state level. We have people at local unknowns, but highly gifted. So such a diversity. That's a really important point, actually, to hear uh, the diversity of all the panel speakers. And like you mentioned, you have got underdogs, but you have also got some incredible names involved in this event. And I think we didn't share a lot of that. So just quickly go over some of the great people that are involved in the Golden Door Awards. Well, you know, they're not like names which you think of a celebrity. Okay, These are not celebrity names, but they're doing great things. In the industry, they're very well known. In the governments, they're well known. If so I mentioned now, you may, may not know. Like I would say, uh, our min former Minister of State, uh, Zainul Abidin. We've got uh, the Bishop Rhea of Nazareth, who was helping to achieve the peace between Israel and Palestine. So you don't know, you don't hear of him, but he's very, very important in his field. So this is just some examples. Then uh, we have Je Jerome Elam, who's a, you know, a abolitionist, uh, you know, and, uh, and many, many others who are activists and writers and best-selling authors, of course, but they're not the names which you normally hear of, you see. They're doing big things. And uh, you need to know these people. They're, they're persons who are doing work under the cover. Okay? So we don't look for those global names, which every thinks it's, okay, I should go for that. Like, for example, our guest of honor is a global religious leader. But you don't really hear of him, the, the leader of ISKCON. Uh, we also have, we have religious leaders from all the faiths. We have got a, rel a religious harmony panel. We have a panel on uh, gender harmony. We have on, uh, on thriving. Um, and we have on tyranny of taboos. These are all different. And these things uh, we also have on uh, natural intelligence. Ecopreneurs, you don't really hear of them, but doing big projects. So that's the important thing is work focusing on substance. And that's most that's what we do. I encourage everyone to get a seat booked at the golden door awards.com. That's the golden door awards.com. Tahira, I have really enjoyed having a conversation with you today. Thank you so, so much for coming on to the Brilliance Business Show. Thank you very much. And I uh, hope to speak to you again. 
and looking forward to those who will be joining us, joining with us on the Saturday. It's been our pleasure. You have been listening to The Brilliance Business Show, conversations with leading experts in business. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.